Hello, and welcome back to my Doki Doki Literature Club Let's Play. Um, so obviously I did all of these on stream, um, but for this part, I have to clarify something. Uh, after I make the choice with Sayori, my computer completely crashed. Like, everything shut down. I thought the game did it, and I was scared as hell. Um, I came back on, and I, I was convinced it was the game. So I picked the other choice. The one that I didn't pick because I thought it wouldn't let me do the first one because I didn't want my computer to turn off again. Apparently, my version was just fucked up somehow. So um, after this part, I re-download the game on Steam and I get back to the Sayori choice and I choose the one I want. But for now, enjoy what I initially picked and the horror that shortly followed. Of course, viewer discretion is advised. Trigger warnings if you have or had depression. Um, suicidal thoughts, please, you have been warned. That being said, enjoy. See what happens now, I feel like this is where the terrible things are going to happen. It's already Sunday, also I have to remember everyone's voices. I'm getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. Oh, she is gonna come, like, over the weekend, that's right, because we're preparing for the school thing. The, yeah, like the open mic poetry event thing. Literature club thing. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. Oh, that's right, we got the number. Mm, she was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left club early the other day. Oh dear. This is where, this is where it gets horrible. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said. Is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? Ugh. This is not looking good for Sayori. Um, but we'll see how crazy she really gets. I feel like I should fix my posture here. I decide to visit Sari before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. As I reach Sari's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Sari isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Yoro. Oh god, I have to do these <laughs> damn voices again. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. G please, we've got to calm her down, bro. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. Let's see what she has. We, we, books, coffee mug, various things on a shelf, a random box on top of a closet thing, wardrobe, a creepy duck thing in a window that has some kind of taco hat, uh, plants, wilted, books, giant cow. Doesn't seem so bad. What up, FM? How are you doing? Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Th that damn laugh. Every Everyone in this universe does. If you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. It's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sorry had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. Oh, God. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Oh, uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Oh. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her bef behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. Oh, 
Oh, good man. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I, I hope it's I hope it's good and doesn't break my heart too badly. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing after you left on Friday. When something's wrong. You can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Saori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Euro. Eh? Why can't it be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. Oh, man. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. Wow. Wow. Jeez. Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? You know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Yoro. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <sighs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Yoro? Oh, if this girl tells me she loves me. I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Okay, it's... Oh, man. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. Jeez. The reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am. I go to school. I eat. I make friends. I make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me. That's what it feels like. That's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Lipsies indeed. I'm in shock. Can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Saori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? She really wants so badly for me to just not think about her. Why, Sayori? Eh, why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. Yo, we are... We are doing really good. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand it all, Euro. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. This is getting very real. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> So I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then, I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It was like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Yoro. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join a literature club because I was selfish. Oh, God. I accidentally right quick clicked and it made things go away. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah, uh, uh, Yuro. Sayori. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. I make friends with everyone else and that's just a bonus. Please never underestimate how much I care about you. 
I wouldn't have it any other way. Yoro, Saori isn't hugging me back. Ooh. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Yoro, I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. All I want is for her to know that I care. You have it in you to call yourself selfish and you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. If there's anything that you need me to do, you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently Saori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Euro. Only time I'm not feeling nothing. I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. Your hugs are so warm. That's really scary, too. Wow. Saori lets me go. If she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um. Uh, it's what I want. I promise. I. Yo, what up, Raisin? Thank you for stopping by. I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sorry wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sorry shakes her head. Oh, why you gotta be difficult, girl? I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? <sighs> it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I feel like I'm not going to see her tomorrow. I'm very worried right now. Alright. I look forward to it. Say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy, as you should. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over to- Oh my god, dude. Uh, I would have texted Yuri like, Hey, my friend really needs me. I'm sorry. Look, I've been very scared of Sayori up ever since she kind of like changed. I've been kind of scared of what she might do, and I still am. Before it was kind of a joke, but now I'm like legitimately concerned. I, I, me personally, probably would have canceled on Yuri just to be with Sari. Like, even if it's just a friend. But I, I don't know. I think Sari is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. She's not going to go, dude. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Uh, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. They started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. So you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. Did you manage... <laughs> Excuse me. Did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? I like I like to think every time I mess up a voice, it's just the other character doing an impression of who they're talking to. Am I enjoying the game? Absolutely. It's it's interesting to me. It feels like um It feels like every girl is kind of going through their own thing, uh, deep down, and I as I go through each route, I'm probably gonna discover what that is. For Sayori, it looks like I just discovered it was depression. Even though I seem to be on the Yuri route right now, if if that's how it works. Your team Natsuki, interesting. Um, yeah, I'm definitely uh, for Yuri so far. I I was gravitating toward either Sayori or uh, Yuri personally. Natsuki is so funny to me. I love doing her voice. Yuri is so good though. Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. 
Sherry will be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. So clean. You can mix and match in one run. That is... That's pretty cool, actually. Huh. You're the only man of culture. Whatever, man. Interesting. You can do multiple in one run. That's so cool. I guess that's why I got some Sayori stuff. Because um, the first uh, day I wrote a poem was more geared towards her. And I got... I guess I got points with her, but ever since then I've been straight Yuri. Uh, I cleaned it before you came over, so it's very considerate of you to do. Ah, uh, no, I'd be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Yo, this girl is this girl is great. Ah. Uh, that would be even more embarrassing. But yes, I would never. I would not agree to that. I'd be like, no. You don't want to see my room when it's a mess. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, wrist, which is in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. At those eyes, they're great. Ah, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. Puts both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh damn, she's trying to set the mood. Oh, is the game frozen? Weird. Yuri, best girl. Facts. Hello, Lion Turtle. Uh, let me let me try and fix this really quick. Thank you for telling me. Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna switch scenes really quickly, which should fix it. Let me see. Let me wait to see it on stream. Okay, that might have done it. Let me. Do a little bit more and see how it does. Oh, wow. So let's see if it caught that. There it goes. Okay. Seems fine. Thank you for telling me. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess, it's always the cupcakes. Awesome. I'm glad it's good for you guys. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. She is very intense. Ah, uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, girl. No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Facts. I is that so? That makes me feel relieved. I'm kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. Brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah, like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles in a wooden cylinder shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper <laughs> and use the candles to light through- Jeez, man, she is really- I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. It's that wooden thing, though. Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Ah, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is the jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Sounds dangerous. Mmm, palpitations. Don't you think that would be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable. 
You seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are these for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. You won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh my. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you'd put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with the red cheeks. Oh my, is it just me or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a Marco, a Marco, yo, Yorer. <laughs> Jesus, you can write any characters you want. I hope you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, all right, I'm that laugh, I know. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my band bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. Where's this going? The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. It's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Ah. Uh, well. Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. Each their own, you know? You, if you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. Oh, God. Okay, we're, we found what makes Yuri crazy. Alright. Cool. They're just so pretty. I can't help it. Give me a justice. I don't know what it is. A combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. I do, but it's... You know, it's fine. I'm just going to watch my back now. Ahahaha. Ah, ah, ah. I'm going to die. You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. <laughs> what? <laughs> suits me? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of intense. Ahahaha. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, yes. To say the least. Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. It starts gushing blood. Ow! Yoro! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. I mean, you should do that anyway. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. What is this, Heaven's Feel? <laughs> right as I say that, Alexander, exactly. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Uh, ooh. B please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri. It's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think this I think this chick might she looks like Ryder and Sakura combined. 
Actually, this just might be Ryder, actually. Ah. Sure was a little... I like... Ah, that's my reaction. Sure was a little weird, and it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yeah. Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. What the fuck is going on? Yuro, did you really just do that? Now we're even. Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. Ah... <laughs> uh, I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Yuro. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah, uh, I don't think I need one actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. Attention is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. Out side by side. It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this Yuri. Ah, oh, thanks. This is something I saw online, really. I feel like the weirdness has only just begun. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Boy, am I. Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor, watercolor paint tablets. We need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. You mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. Taking Yuri's advice, I decide to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. In my uncultured, what the hell is a bathroom cup? I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Ah, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so... <laughs> Let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for a sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well... Excuse me. It will be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. You know what, that would probably be very relaxing if I did that nowadays. Ah, uh, sorry if this feels too childish. It's also like, what, adult coloring books? Like just, you know, simple things you did as a kid. Probably pretty, pretty chill to do now. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself, For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I, I mean, that's what I figured. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple like reading. It doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. Shout out to every reaction channel ever. I think I feel the same way. Anime reaction channel ever. Yuri smiles gently. 
I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Yeah. S sorry. Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. I'm just bleeding. You just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, your face. Rude. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Oh. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Let me lick it off. What? Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with a towel. Ah. Uh, something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I like the little, um... What would you call this? These little scenes they show whenever... There are actions like this. Didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Ah. <laughs> I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Well, this girl loves you now, bro. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? It's definitely the jasmine oil. Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrists send a tingling sensation through my arm. Suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Oh my. Uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. Moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again. This is going exactly how I expected. <laughs> but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. Other than the blood thing, this is going pretty much how I figured. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. You going to add the lettering now? Ah, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here than have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. <laughs> you say that you say that like you're glad it's over. Is I wrong to assume that you were loose enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, so you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we would have some extra time after finishing the work. Well... Yuri thinks to herself. I, I think it would be too irresponsible for me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. Probably. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So... I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why it sounds it sounded like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. That doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. Kind of say, say that without thinking. Not today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over. Or we can go out somewhere. Ooh. I forgot you don't like going out much. I stumble over my words. Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway. You know what I'm trying to say, so... Be very thoughtful, Yuro. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Well, 
How am I supposed to respond to that? I don't even manage to get a chance as Yuri suddenly pulls back. <laughs> Sayori? Oh no. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah? Who? Ah. Uh, hi, Yuro. Sayori. Just now we weren't. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. It's okay, Yoro. I just stopped by to say hi. Um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. We'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... That's fine, right? Of course. She, Saori's not gonna show up. She's gonna do something crazy. Saori beams. Yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Truly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Saori waves goodbye after her. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Oh, uh, well, I tried staying in my room. My imagination was being really mean to me. I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, you know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close you got to her. It makes me really happy. That you've made such good friends. Uh, that's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. I am terrified. It's all that matters to me. I mean, I feel bad for her. I'm so I I feel very sorry for her. I wish I could have stayed with her rather than, uh, rather than see Sa see Yuri. Even though Yuri's great, I feel like as a friend I should have stuck around with Sayori. But I don't know. Why am I feeling this way, Yuro? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? Well, at least she's being honest. It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. It would be so much better if I could just disappear. Oh no, please don't say that. It's true, Yoro. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Wait, what did Monica tell her to do? Uh, Yuri, best girl? Facts. Um, wait, what the hell did Monica tell Sayori? What she should just do. I hope Monica isn't evil. Sayori, I said before it's true. Unless Monica just told her to let it go, but I don't, I don't know. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So if it, even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But... Sayori looks away, put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Yuro. I'm really scared. You scared of Sayori? I'm scared that, that I might like you more than you like me. Oh, too real. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Yuro, I like you so much that I want to die. Oh, p please, no. No, no, no. No. Yeah, I, I'm glad she's being honest, but I, I feel so sad for her. Much healthier than just going stabby, indeed. And, and... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. You remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. That's what I'm going to give to you. <sighs> uh, line turtle. Uh, or solid, I should call you now. Um, let me lick your blood. Oh, uh, I mean, that's Yuri has a lot going for her, am I right? Like, she's, she's done some very, very cute stuff. But, oh no, dude. I have to be honest, right? But if I'm honest, she's going to do crazy things and possibly hurt Yuri and hurt me and <laughs> ruin my route. But I don't know. She might ruin my route anyway. I don't know. Fuck, man. Fuck. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna save. Good, good idea. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. I was about to choose without saving. Okay, okay. 
Okay. You know what? We saved. I feel a little better saving, so... I'm gonna bite the bullet. You always be my dearest friend. What you need most- Look, listen, she doesn't know I had a decision. Of course not. Only Monica breaks the fourth wall. Let's go. Monica told me the truth. He told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now. But... Please trust me that I know what's best and will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll get things back to the way they were. I... I see. Oh, fuck me. Asari forces a smile through an incredibly paid expression. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? Oh, but Why don't you tell me? I should, I should write a poem about this. Sorry. It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? F uh, it's for being so selfish. Stop it. So please, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing. You're also right that I just wanted to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Euro. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So... Sayori's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden she turns around and drops to her knees. Touching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. So Ari looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. I feel like sh we're not going to see her ever again. Fuck, man. But it, I, it wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been telling her the truth if I told her I loved her. I mean, I do, but like as a friend, it's, but if I told her, if I tell her I love her, she's gonna expect me to get with her, and I, that's not, it's a Yuri! Ah! Sayori. I'm left helplessly standing in the front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? Because I'm not a sociopath or psychopath. There's nothing more that I could have done. No, the most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path. That's right. I'm not gonna have a chance to, but sure. Great. I'm, but I'm having as much trouble understanding as Sayori's feelings are as she is. Even though I can comfort her. Break that heart. <laughs> yes, that part. Hello, Blaze. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry, killed the stream. You know what? It's so funny. This whole time, I've been thinking Sorry was gonna kill me. She killed my stream. Holy fuck, man. I cannot. I feel like she literally ran away, then came up behind me, and then stabbed me. Fucking A, dude. That scared the shit out of me. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm scared to reopen the game, but it's, it's about to happen. It has to happen now. It got very real. Uh, so... Grasher, I don't know if you're in the stream. Oh, yeah, you're here. Okay, yeah. Um, Grasher, I, I was wondering why you asked me which version I had. I'm guessing the Steam version only closes the game and not your entire computer. So I guess the one that's on the official website closes your whole shit. Maybe the Steam one only closes the game. Kind of like under, like, kind of like sort of how Undertale fucks with you. But I see what kind of game we're playing now. Oh dear. All right, let's let's um let's get right to it, yeah. Let's let's open this up, see what's going on. Holy shit, dude. I am not I cannot handle this. I don't know what the fuck's about to pop up. <laughs> don't you play that happy music on me right now. Don't you don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Okay, it's not showing up on stream yet. Let's see. Oh, wait, there it is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I'm so fucking scared, man. <laughs> oh no! What is about to happen? Okay. Yuri is back. 
tonal whiplash. That's exactly what that is, man. Because it knows what it's doing. This fucking game knows what it's doing. And I hate it. It's... It's... Ugh. And it's... It's revealed its hand. It showed how sinister it's being now. Now it can happen at any time. Look at... Look at them. They're all so happy. They're all so regular. Look at this. It's great, isn't it? And Yuri's back on the screen, which is curious. Before, she had a black bar over her. Very curious. Very, very curious. Alright, let's, um... Enough dilly dallying, enough me delaying it, or yeah, let's let's get back into it. Oh no. Okay. Uh, let me let me open this beer. Oh god. Ooh, okay, here we go. Okay, sorry. You wanna play this game? You want to play this game with me? Fine. Fine. You win. I've, I've had enough of your craziness. <laughs> I've spilled beer on myself now. Oh no. Some of this liquid courage in me. Eh? Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. Should've realized it sooner. Spending time with everyone at the club. Making new friends. And having fun with you every day. Help me realize that you were truly the most imper important person to me. Why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day. With you by my side. I know we'll both be happy. Euro. Suddenly, Saori wraps her arms tightly around me. Euro. Is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Saori in my arms and pull her closer. Never have to let go of me again. I love you, Euro. I want to be with you forever. Me too. Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy. Fuck, there's no pleasing this girl. There's no pleasing her. I can't take this, man. I can't do this. How do I win? How do I win? Can someone tell me how I win? Can someone please tell me? Where do I go? What do I do? Don't actually tell me. I'm just... I... I... Ah, okay. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now, I think I'm gonna stab your computer again. It's almost like it's really hard to make people with horrible depression happy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's, there's, yeah, like, in re real talk, there's no instant cure for depression at all, ever, absolutely. I'm just very scared, that's all. I want the rain clouds go away. They're not going away at all, Euro. It's okay, Saori. It might take some time for things to get better again. No matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Oh, okay. I trust you. Sorry, and I slowly release each other. Okay, we're beginning a slow, um, a slow, you know, relationship. I, this is totally what I wanted to do. Ha ha ha. So, guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know. I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we really are a couple. Look, Yuri will be fine. She'll be, she'll be, Yuri's fine. If you, as long as Yuri doesn't crash, listen, if Yuri crashes my game too, then maybe we'll make different choices. I don't know Yuri's power. I know Sayori makes my computer feel unhappy, so I, I, I submit. Um, <laughs> it's all good, Nitin. No, thanks for stopping by. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. 
I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Euro. Sorry gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad? This is the best thing for me, right? You notice I shrink backwards. Eh. I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. I feel like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. That's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah, after the crash I chose, I, I said I love you to her, because I, you know, <laughs> I'm weak. Yeah, the, the game got me, man. What can I say? The game got me. I'm like, now I'm curious what I say if I say I love you. I, I don't know if the same thing happens again, if I deny her again. That, it, that might be cool to explore, but now I'm like wondering if this is how I progress, so I just chose this. I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her, and she loves me. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her. I'm wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. That's what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change. Hey, hey! I am so on edge right now. My my brother opened my door and it scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> he opened the door and I was like, yo, what the fuck, man? Doki, 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 man. This got me on guard, dude. Holy shit. Well, it looks like my... Let me see. Looks like my camera's doing the auto lighting thing again, even though it's can't, you can't really tell. There it is. All right. Okay, as I was about to say, um... So, at the risk of the game about to crash once more again on me right now... <laughs> Eureka! Listen, I, I won't deny the powers of Mr. Salvato, who apparently also makes Mario Maker levels. Um... This, yeah. This, it's this kind of doki doki. Alright, so here's what, I'm, here's what I was wanting to say before I the terror kept creeping up on me. Um, this game keeps telling me things about changing, about wanting things to change, about the choices I make early on during the poetry things where you choose the words for the poems. Monica kept breaking the fourth wall and being like, if you try to, if you try too hard for do something, you might screw things up. Or if you, if you, and so she kept, and I was like, the game's trying to tell me something about my choices. And the, the whole narrative with Sayori about not wanting things to change from how they were. I feel like I fucked up by like going back and trying to change, like doing exactly what the game basically told me to do. One of the people who made Project M, interesting. Well, you see, certainly a very talented guy. Absolutely. I can't tell if I fucked up, but hey, listen, if I did fuck up, bravo to this game, because it's I'm completely playing into its hands. So let's let's keep going. Okay. I don't know, but I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me. I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. <laughs> it's the day of the festival. <laughs> of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. 
The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take with me. Listen. Okay, so here's my thing. And I, I keep harping on, uh, harping on about this because the game has taken a drastic turn, as you, as you know. Um, Yuri, so I feel like... In making this choice, yeah, I get to progress, but now I'm going to face Yuri's wrath at some point. I feel like telling Sayori I loved her because the game made my computer restart uh, is now going to rep give me repercussions in the very near future. And I know Sayori, not sorry, I know that um, Yuri likes knives so i'm probably going to be feeling one of those so here we go sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything and i reassured her okay okay alexander all right i'll, I'll trust you but and that's the thing even if it can't do that which you're saying it can't and i believe you because you you're a dev i i still it's still like giving me these thoughts like these like weird expectations it's like now planted the seed in my mind and it's fucking with me which is good that's a sign of a really good game that can fuck with you like that or just a good piece of entertainment like the same way like horrors and psychological thrillers can do it's doing a great job so at the very least even if it's not capable of that it's still giving me that feeling i'm more excited for it to be over so i can spend time with saori and yuri at the festival but knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Yuro, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Where, why is there no sound? Monica's placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. It must be the one she prepared that have all the poems are performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You didn't think that on days this important she'd try a little harder, but you'd think. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. Oh, hold on, hold on. I miss oh, God, I'm losing it. Um, and suddenly I feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. Okay, okay, okay. I only said it because it's the way... I'm used to thinking, but maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> Even the laughs are terrifying. Where's the fucking sound? <sighs> you should take a little responsibility for her too, Yoro. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after- oh god. Monica is God. She is, she is the God of this world. She knows everything. She breaks the fourth wall. I, she, she's Truly, she is the scariest. But I stammer embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? Didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. <laughs> My Monica, is this creepy hour? What is going on? Eh? Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. <laughs> uh. Man up, Euro! Hey, do you want me to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. Grab one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognized Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. One that I haven't read before. Guys, I... 
I can't do this, man. I can't fucking do this. Why is there a percent sign at the top? That's the most disturbing of all. Oh, God. Oh, fucking goodness. Sorry, please. I, I told you I loved you. Just stop fucking with my character. Just let him, let him live. Leave my computer alone. I just... It's the percentage of get out she wants from her head. If we count them all, we can calculate it. Percent, yes. Scroll down. Get out of my head, I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. I think the worst part about this is the fact that Monica is acting all cheery. There's no music. Monica is speaking very cryptically like she knows exactly what the fuck's going on. I am so disturbed right now. Ah. Uh, what's the, What is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. I feel so bad for my character, by the way. Yoro, I feel so bad for you. Who, who are these people? Why are they like this? Oh, no. And I don't mean, like, Sayori being depressed. Like, that's not a shot at her. I just mean w w this creepy shit going on. Yoro? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. I wonder why. But more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm going to go get Sayori, so... Uh, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that. Fuck you. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for me or help her wake up. Even a simple gesture of walking her to school makes her feel, makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. It's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on... Don't, I don't know why this pose is comforting for me. It just is. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Sayori? Oh my gosh. She did not... She did not do what I think she did. There's no way. So, did, did Sayori? Did, she did... Fuck me, dude. I feel like I'm about to find out she did something horrible. Oh no... Oh no, dude. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. Yoro, I swear, if you stop being retarded for five minutes. That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Inside Sarari's room, I knock on her door. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be back here. Sayori, wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter a room like this. It's ki isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I sure wish I had a choice here of possibly two options, one leading to a preferable path. I gently open the door. Fuck me, dude. Fuck. Me. Fuck. Me. Oh. My. Fucking. Goodness. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I fu what the fuck is going on? Oh. My. God. An exception has- Okay. Alright. Get me out of here. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? Stop playing the happy main menu music. F fuck you. Solid, fuck you. It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sorry, wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. Holy fucking goodness. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sorry I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. And why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her. I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. 
You've told me how painful it is for others to care about. Okay, I, I fucked up. Okay. All right. This is my punishment for fucking up, I guess. Why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? Oh my god, the game is shitting on me for doing exactly what it, what it wanted me to do. Oh no, this is my fault. I, I My swarming thoughts kept telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and never made friends with her like it always has been, then I could have prevented this. You know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club, screw the festival. I just lost my best friend, someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do can bring her back. This is some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance. I wasn't careful enough, and I don't carry this game with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. Fuck, get, get me out of here, but I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. Never, 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 never. Oh no. Oh no. Just do it. Rip the band aid. What the fuck are you guys implying? Her hands blade your are you in are you implying that knives were involved and possibly Yuri? Is that what you're telling me? Hold on, I let me take a breather. Holy fucking shit, dude. Oh my god. Fuck me, dude. Oh god. <sighs> Welcome to the real game. Thanks. This is great. Take a look at those fingers. That was... We're past the prologue? Man, what? What the hell are you guys... What? Her fingers were just bloody as all. Can guess why. The first op the option above load game is gibberish now. I feel like wing dings would be more readable. What the fuck is that? <sighs> that option seems neat. I click it fuck out of here. I am not clicking that shit. What is that? <laughs> What is that? There's an Enya, an unknown, and an accented capital A, which, what is that? What the fuck is that? Alright, so, alright, okay. Two things are gonna happen here. One, I'm gonna hit this line of symbols. I'm gonna see what the fuck happens. If it shuts down my computer, I'm done streaming this for today. And if, if we're still alive, then I'll, I'll load a save. How's that? Okay. Maybe different choices would have a different outcome. Try to save first? The save and say- okay, so the, <laughs> the symbols are gonna crash my computer. Great. Awesome. Thanks for- alright. I'm gonna try a save. Oh my gosh. I sent this stream to my girl. <laughs> now I'm like telling her I'm so sorry. I should have given a trigger warning because this shit is intense, dude. Like, honestly. Like, everyone who's clicking on this knows what they're getting into, but I should not send this stream to people. Okay, let's, um, let's try a save. Oh, and wait.
I probably shouldn't have done that, but unfortunately there's no load I can save in real life. Thankfully we have these... Um, I mean, she texted me back. She said she's fine. It's just that, yeah, it's a trigger in general. It's not for her, but yeah. She sent it to a group chat, which is like, I'm like, please tell them. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't even know where I should load, how far back I should go. I need to think about this. So it seems like because the first day, right? I, I am also glad. Hello. Um, yeah, Jesus. Um, so me, <laughs> me thinking about this now, because I was divisive on the poetry days, right? So the first night I wrote the poetry, I unintendedly, unexpectedly, unintended. What the fuck am I saying? I, I wrote a poem that was more geared to Sayori, right? I got a bunch of points with her. I didn't mean to. I was trying to go for Yuri the first time. But it went for Saori, right? So the first day I got I got the thing with Saori and we talked and it was all good. So second and third poems though were Yuri. So it was split. Even though I was I thought I was more favored to toward Yuri, that's probably not how it works. Probably the fact that I got both of them and pissed off Saori was uh was no good. So I might want to go for Yuri right off the bat. But I don't even know if it'll let me. Let's try. Let's try the very first save. Let's see. I'm gonna brace myself here, hold on. Alright. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys. Guys. What the fuck is going on? The character. <sighs> So when I lose a character, they're gone for good. Okay. So I can't load a save, basically. Because all the saves have Sayori. <laughs> so because Sayori is missing, I can't load any of the saves I have. I have to click the symbols. Okay. Yeah, her file must be missing from that. Yeah, I, I, in the Doki Doki folder, there's a character folder. That's right. I can check it. Okay, I'm I'm gonna check the folder. Hold on. Let let's let's see. Okay. Why am I scared to check a folder? This game's getting to me, man. Um. Oh my gosh. I see the preview in the folder. There's a preview image, and I. This looks ridiculous. Oh yeah, she's gone. She's gone from the folder. She is not there anymore. Holy shit, okay. Wow, all right. Well, my saves are fucked. All that didn't matter, I guess. Oh dear. Oh dear, okay, all right. Okay, all right. Um, this, this line of text is like, uh, has anyone seen um, Bruce Almighty? When, uh, when Jim Carrey was making Steve Carell say the gibberish while he's doing the TV, like blah, 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 like it's it that looks like that in written form. Oh yeah, this song's great. Yeah. Oh no, I see an annoying, annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. They're just driving home the whole fact. This is probably what Sayori thinks Euro thinks of her, right? <laughs> exactly solid, yeah. That's <laughs> um. Oh dear. No, it's not you. Nikki, it is not you. <laughs> oh no. I okay, let's bite the bullet. Let's let's alright, let's go. The girl is blah 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 blah. Tiny little nipples went to France. My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Oh, fuck me, dude. I can't, I can't do this. I can't. Oh, no. 
We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. If she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Dude, this is, this is sad as fuck. Like, like, creepiness aside, unsettling vibe aside, this is actually really sad. However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk and let blah blah catch up to me. Okay, alright. Okay. Alright. Cool. Thanks, Doki Doki. That was awesome. It's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always... I always tell myself is yes, Nikki. Yes, yes. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Ah, this is me. There's always an anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. Oh god. Yeah, the start of this cool- what a neat- what a neat little game. You, listen, you best believe when I finish this, I am watching Let's Plays. I need to see people suffer as I have. Um, the school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. If I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them will probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. Because I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Euro? Okay, alright, okay, okay. Alright, hello, Monica. Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, I, I see why, Blaze. It's. This is. This is like. This is crazy. Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica's probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. Having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What you coming here for anyway? I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. You know if there's any construction paper in here? For markers? Guess you could check the closet. You're in a debate club, right? <laughs> about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah, it's, it's, it's luring me into a false sense of security. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It's like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Uh, Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Ouch. Literature. Club. That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? I swear, if you say if you say four and it glitches again, I'm gonna fuck four glitch. I mean three. You're Monica, and this Monica's the fourth wall breaker, right? Like she knows, she is the god of this game. I, she's here to fuck with me. She knows exactly what's going on. Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, well, I can see that. It's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Freaking Natsuki. Damn weeb. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. Besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Euro. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Ah. Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but... If you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. 
please? Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome. You're really sweet, hero, you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? Look for the materials another time. You're more important. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Okay, okay, Monica, all right. I don't know why she's glitching now, but okay. Aha. Day to laugh, um... Oh yeah, I've seen a bit of a tough old boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. It's it's funny as hell. <laughs> it's fucking birds and the bird puns. Oh god. And I brought a guest with me. Ouch. 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 That hurts. Oh no. Girl one. Oh, apparently I don't know the true nature of a Tolfo, fair enough. I haven't seen much of it, apparently. Alright, let's, uh, let's continue. Uh, I guess... Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Satsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, hero. All words escape me in this situation. This club. Full of incredibly cute girls. Oh god, it's the same line from the first play. From the first line. I'd go for girl week. You know what? I tried. I tried, man. I really did. For once seems nice. Listen, I will not have any of your 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 sleight of hand suggestions. See me suffer. I, I see what you're doing here. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't, don't recognize. Alright. <laughs> okay, alright, let's, um... I have to check something really quickly. No, I don't believe any of you at all. Abs no, absolutely. Not at all. Girl 2 is okay too, great. <sighs> Alright, let's, let's see, listen, let's keep going. Go with my heart? Okay. Yeah, because I'm thinking now, like... I don't know if there's an order I need to follow. My girl's telling me girl one, which is funny. <laughs> it's, it's not really me. It's Euro, okay? This is my guy. I'm playing. I'm playing wingman here. <laughs> All right. The heart of the cards. Listen, the first time I, I went, I tried girl one, and and then a crazy girl made me say I love her, and then and then horrible things happened, and now here I am in an alternate universe where she doesn't exist, and no one remembers, and now I'm now I'm scared. All right. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. Thank you, Nitin. <laughs> I'm, 
<laughs> Listen, man, I've never had a game affect me this profoundly. But I haven't been this scared since I played Corpse Party, dude. And that's like an eight, like an eight bit. That's a pixel game. That that game scared. Me. I haven't finished it yet. I, I really need to finish it sometime. But, whew, man. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica. Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Euro? Girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here. Well, make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start. I hate this. I, I just want to make it very clear. I hate this. Because uh, everyone... Monica is so damn cheery and she knows what's going on. She keeps glitching and and you reflash darkness and i'm i'm gonna keep holding my microphone close to me you could put it that way not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile but it makes school events like the festival that much more important i don't think we're ever gonna make the festival in any of these routes also, I apparently need to lower my mic a little bit now because holding it this close is making it peak. My bad. All right. All right, Natsuki? Well, I guess Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls are all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. The whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Listen, she's still great. I ju I'm just... Haha, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> don't, let ev don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, but that's not... Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Yuro, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? <laughs> I, I, good to know I'm still a weeb in this alternate universe. Um, I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. This is verbatim what we saw in the first uh, the first time we played. Uh, the first route, I guess. Which is cool. Unsettling, but cool. You're not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements really immerse, usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Uh... Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Okay, okay. She didn't say that the first route. I... Um... Hmm... Yeah, no, I was about to say, Blaze, everything she's saying right now... Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop. Yes, th this game is just meta, the video game. Disguised as a cute visual novel. 
That's dope, Nikki. Like, I'm glad you got your tea. It is. I'm glad one of us has some comfort right now. Okay. She didn't say horror the first time. I'm prepared for... Alright, just just rip the band-aid off. Just, just go ahead. Just do it. Just do it. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Uh, I'd expect that from you, Yuri. She she might have, but I I won't take that chance. I I listen. I I trust nothing right now. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can I really can't put it down. So real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Yeah, I'm. I I don't think she said this the first time, unless I just don't remember. Cause I rem everything is familiar except this. What she's saying right now. I, I'd be curious to check. I'll believe you for now, but I I kind of want to check. If not, that's cool. But I I'm curious. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just. Natsuki's eyes start over to me for a split second. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Blaze. There's no way she mentioned it this much. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? But what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And this game is absolutely, from the very beginning, um, has been doing that. Like, I was kind of picking up on the meta points, and now that shit has hit the fan, it's, like, kind of all making sense. Uh, yeah, very, very... It's kind of on the nose, but also at the same time subtle enough that I don't really know when it's going to just throw me for a loop again entirely. Fine, fine, because then I'll be like, what do they mean by that? It means something, but I have no idea. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? Ugh. I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable, comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Since this is familiar, we all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. So I'll go home and write a poem of our own. And next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Ah. Uh, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of vice president, after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member... Seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Euro? Yeah, whatever you say, don't kill me. Oh yeah, one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Okay. So what's also cool about this is they're kind of filling in the continuity, I guess, of... um. Because initially, Sayori is the one who is invited. It's like, yo, join this literature club. They have cupcakes. And then kind of like caught him off guard when he came just for the cupcakes. And then he just got wrapped into it. Now it's like he runs into Monica and comes in. And now the same thing is kind of happening. Oh, it's, it's cool. Freaky, but cool. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at. And um, I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. Eh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Yoro. Oh, oh god. Thing is... 
We don't have enough members yet to form an official club. Oh, they need at least four. And I would be the fourth since Saori isn't here. Oh, this is cool. Uh, uh-huh. We need four. I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. If we don't find one more before the festival... I I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? Uh, is that another meta thing? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. Oh, super chill. Totally. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Euro? Yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. Thought I'd have to stab you. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. Euro, I'm so happy. You can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? I, I, I don't trust you the most. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Uh, don't you dare say they Don't ah, don't say something right now. Don't don't you do it. Yura, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. AKA which girl I... I my poem is geared toward. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. Guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. See you tomorrow then. I can't wait. Just go away. Just end this, please. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be ha happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. What the, what does this mean? What is this? Solid, don't, I hate that you said it like that. Oh, cool, you unlocked, don't, don't you play coy with me. Don't you do that. Um, yes, a choice. Hmm, okay. Fine. The day I cut my skin open for the first time, it was... Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. Uh, I think that's where I'm gonna call it today. Oh my gosh. What that was insane. That was crazy. <sighs> I had no idea this game would be so intense, dude. This is like beyond anything I expected. To be fair, this game does give you a trigger warning at the very beginning when you open it. My one regret now is sending this to my girlfriend. I sincerely apologize if you're still watching. I hope that you aren't, Nikki. But, um, wow. Wow. Okay. All right, so a couple things. <laughs> the best romance. So, the first time I play this... Obviously, we had the three options, uh, Sayori, uh, Natsuki, and Yuri. Sayori's gone now. But 
Monica has never um Monica has never been on this selection screen. Which is which is interesting. She doesn't seem to be a choice. She seems to be just like the the one. And I'm wondering why she's not an option. Maybe she's the final one you have to unlock. That's kind of what I thought before, but Okay, good. I'm I'm glad that you're you're good. Um I think I'm good too for today. This is that's that's enough. That's enough for today. I'm, I think this is a game I, I'm gonna have to play in certain doses. I can I can probably finish another route next time. Yeah, does that sound good? Like one route every stream, possibly. Maybe we can do it like that. I don't know. That would be ideal, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, thank you all for uh for stopping by. Nikki, of course, for coming through, and everyone who came from Patreon. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, and we'll we'll continue uh, next week. He's the one in charge of what happens. Yeah, definitely. She's oh yes, safe, safe, safe. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh god, that could have been disastrous. All right. Thank you, Alexander. All right, so that's gonna be a break. Take care, everybody.